Now drag out Kamehameha to replicated storage. Now make now in starter pack. Which, uh, so in starter pack you got a tool. And we'll call this the Kame Kame Ha. And then we'll add finally a script. This is going to be a fire fire this coming out. So let's get our Kameha that we stored in that Also gonna do another thing and it's gonna be the uh, model of the uh, Kamehameha is way too long. Kamehameha clone. We'll just call it the model and we'll clone it. Then we'll model this model's parents is going to be uh cha and then model dot primary oh wait no 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 I model colon set primary part C frame equals to char uh, get primary primary part C my spelling So offset it to negative two right here. And then one more thing to make this really work out is a uh, model dot uh, model dot uh, what is it called? Model dot animate. So model, model dot animate dot enable. Uh, wait, no size disabled. Model dot animate disabled is equal to false, and then we shall get a really cool effect. Let's also add in the tool just one simple part. But uh, it's just going to be really small, so it's going to be a size of one and one. It's going to be can client set to false and massless and yeah. And we'll call it the handle. So I will actually do some more and stuff. But now let's check our game and see how well we've got it. Okay, we're in the game. Let's wait for our character to load. And ooh, there's my cube. Very cool. Ooh, see that? Uh, that's how coming hard work. Got a really cool Kameha effect. It's not the best, but uh, it's really cool to do. And I forgot to make it delete. So uh, let's go back to the uh, animate and just let's look at our team. So, yes, it's 1.3. So that's our time right here. Let's grab our time and the fire. Let's add a weight. And then 1.3, but not 1.3. This would just instantly disappear as the most. 
as soon as the animation is done. So let's add a little bit of a delay. So maybe 1.8. And then we're also going to add a debounce to prevent players from clicking and the animation goes like that. So if db is equal to false, then So right now we're going to make db is equal to true, then db is equal to false, and model destroy. We can also make this db have a more cooldown. So right here it's just going to be cooldown time. It's up to you. It's quite snap. It's up to you if you want to make it net necessary, but yeah, that's just one thing I want to point out. If you, this is the cooldown time right here. Now let's go back into the game and test. Okay, so that actually looked good. We're going to add a fade in effect in the next video, and in the next video, we'll add some damage and maybe some animations.